Howdy, folks. It's me. I know I'm not doing beekeeping yet. This is just for mosquitoes and black flies up here in Hastings Highlands. This is May. This is the bad season. Um, so I'm roughing it a little bit. No big deal. Uh, you can say they're roughing it because I got protection. And if I can hit one of them with this, even better. So uh, what I just wanted to show, I've got my, um, uh, I don't know, they're livestock watering troughs, I guess is what you call them. Uh, they're roughly four feet long, uh, two feet wide and two feet high, roughly. And I've got 11 of them and they're gonna be my raised garden beds for this year. Uh, last year I used uh, these guys here, these wooden ones, uh, and they were great, um, but they're not enough of them and they will deteriorate over time if they're outdoors. So I wanted something that uh, was going to last me a lifetime, or at least my lifetime. Uh, so I'm right now going to drill holes in them so they have good drainage, and then after that, not on this video, I'm going to put a layer of uh, rocks, roughly sort of fist sized and less. And um, I don't know, maybe this step. Then I'm going to do a bit of the Hugo culture method where you put a bunch of old, slightly rotted wood, ideally um, mo and mostly uh, hardwoods. Uh, I've read that some people have used pine and a little bit of cedar on the very bottom uh, with good results, but erring on the side of caution not to do too much. So mostly hardwood. So we've got a lot of uh, birch that I can use. So I'm going to be doing quite a bit of birch just because I know where it is. It's easy to identify. There's, you know, and a little bit of pine, a little bit of cedar, but only in the bottom. That'll be great. Uh, and I'll fill that up to, I don't know, a third or so. And then I'll take the rest of the way up with uh, soil and um, compost, like uh, sheet manure or something, mixture. I also have, I'm going to go and look for it, but I had alpacas at one time and I put a big pile of that stuff a year's worth out in the field. And if that's still a nice lump of it, and it hasn't dissolved into the ground, uh, I might uh, possibly grab some of that. I don't know yet, but that's kind of the plan. They're gonna go running along this fence here. When we have our chickens in, I've gotta be careful because I anticipate they're gonna try and chew on stuff. So they have their favorites. So I will have to put some kind of mesh around that or something that I can undo easily and get to the plants and then put back up to protect the chickens. Um, I don't know, I don't think I'm gonna have any problem with deer and well, rabbits, I don't think so because it's higher up and deer, I don't think they're gonna come this close with the dogs. So that's another aspect of having the garden beds here. Uh, it, it makes the whole fence line a little more interesting, but um, no one's gonna pick my veggies without uh, being very careful about the dogs guarding those veggies. So let's get at her. I don't have any rule of thumb here. I'm gonna just guesstimate based on my past experiences. I don't want too little drainage. I don't want too much, I guess. I think it'd be better to have too many holes and too little, because too little, they're just gonna drown the roots. Um, and a lot of raised garden beds are open at the bottom, so you know, it's not the worst case scenario. So, and I've seen where some people will drill on the sides and that is definitely something I'm considering as well. But I'm thinking once these are filled, I'm not gonna be drilling underneath anymore. So I think I'm gonna do six to eight holes here and then I can always drill on the sides for extra drainage uh, later on if I feel that it's not draining enough. So. that into the grill in 
So I think I'll do 10. have 11 of these raised garden beds and 11 especially 11 11 is a special number for Raven and I so I think I am going to make 11 holes because then there'll be 11 holes and 11 garden beds which makes 11 11 I don't think I'm going to bore you with me drilling the 11 holes in the rest of the nine, but uh, you get the idea. Uh, and then these will be. I'll just show you one of them. I'm going to have them all along the fence here. Uh, filled with my my layers of stone, my layers of wood, rotted wood, foil, compost, and then ideally very soon, lovely plants, lovely uh, veggies growing uh, that will keep us fed throughout the spring summer, and eventually with a little greenhouse, uh, which would be good for nursery in the spring and uh, for winter time. Uh, hopefully growing kale and a few things uh, over winter lettuces and stuff so you know what I have noticed around the area I noticed um, in Maynooth, which is, for those that don't know, it's a very, very small town, beautiful little town. Um, I saw someone in their backyard, a bunch of people out in there building a greenhouse. And when I was in Bancroft, I noticed a really nice greenhouse built in someone's front yard. 
and then a couple of doors down, a whole bunch of raised garden beds in someone's front yard. Uh, and the greenhouse especially, it, was, it looked almost two stories, but small. And it had looked something coming from the house over, which I think would a way they've developed so they can heat the greenhouse from the house. So that's my hunch. Um, so it's very exciting that people are starting to do this. Pretty easy to do. Uh, I'm lucky I have this little uh, vehicle of mine, my little um, uh, Ranger, little side-by-side -side little utility vehicle that I can go driving through the forests and pick up bits of birch, twigs and rotted wood, loads of good rotted stuff. And I'll line all that inside on top of some rocks heard a goose. Surprised the dogs didn't start barking. Um, and uh, what else? What else uh, uh, oh yeah. So update on the the trailer situation financing. There is a minute chance financing still may go through. Tomorrow is my day to go for my orientation and pay up the final total of the trailer. Um, I'm anticipating going there and just saying that because uh, Saturday is when it gets delivered. So realistically, if I, because it's been a long weekend, there's a, it delayed Friday because people left early and it's going to delay on Monday. So I'm going to have to tell them that although it's a minute chance, Maybe 50-50. I don't know that I'll get financing. Uh, it's not a guarantee. So in the event that I don't get uh, approved for financing, uh, I'm going to just say that I'll, I'll come in on the Friday before the Saturday uh, when it's being delivered. So that way they'll, either way, they'll get their money. Um, but at least I give that two-day uh, grace period for finding out just in case I do get the financing, which I would prefer. After this, I am going to go up to the old house and um, work on the chicken coop. So I'll do a little video there. Craziness up there. That's why I wait for it to get a little bit uh, cooler um, because it's I'm out in full-on sunlight, no trees and stuff. So it's just very hot. So uh, I think that would be a good timing. Uh, the dogs, Cora is loving both of the caves, an update on my dog, and Khaleesi, because uh, Cora tends to dominate everything, so Khaleesi is just leaving things, and I don't want to push things, push my luck too much, because I don't want a big squabble, uh, which could be nasty if one of them was inside and the other one decided that it was theirs and so on. So I'm doing things delicately, I'm starting to feed them each outside of their respective uh, respective caves. Tor has chosen a specific one as his favorite, so I'm aiming at the other one being Khaleesi's, which is good actually because it has a bigger opening and because of her hips and legs, uh, it's actually a better choice. So I'm starting to orient her to that specific cave, uh, which I'll do some little video footage of that once things start to work, uh, so you can see the progress.
I'm going to just sort of finish up this video because otherwise it'll just get really boring. Um, let's just think, is there anything else I can update you with? Yeah, today was that day of trying to improve any chance possible of getting the financing and weigh out, well, what are we going to do if we don't? Uh, the well may have to be postponed. I have a hunch somehow I'm not going to get the financing, but I won't give up until last resort, last chance I get. Um, so we'll probably either, if the well digger is willing for us to like pay half, I think we might have just enough for half uh, and then pay the other half in installments or something, that would be doable. And then we hold off the septic until later in the year or if we had to even uh, next year and just, just deal with uh, composting toilets and just pouring gray water out, you know, for uh, through a filter and watering plants or something. We'll figure something out. But it's not the end of the world. Well, nothing is the end of the world. Uh, because if it was the end of the world, it would affect everyone, right? So, I would think. Uh, so, I think I've updated you on everything. And then anything else I'll... Uh, I, anything else I will uh, fill you in on in the next video uh, later today when I work on the chicken coops. On the chicken coops. On the chicken's coop. Uh, so... Thanks for watching, listening. Please press the like button and I invite you to subscribe so then you'll get my videos coming up as, as I put them out and you won't miss them. And uh, uh, please comment. Sorry, it, bugs can really distract at times. Doing pretty well with it, but sometimes it, it just takes you to this point where you like forget what you were saying and things. Uh, so. That's, that's that. We'll see how things unfold. That's the exciting part of all this. I'll tell you. Yeah, I, I don't want to say if I was a little bit shorter because I don't want to be short. Uh, you know, I've gotten used to being tall and there are benefits, although there are lots of benefits of being short too. Um, so thank you for watching. Please comment. Uh, I welcome comments. Uh, and please press the like button and subscribe so that I can have you not missing things on that because it's easy to fall back. And some of them are longer, some of them are shorter, uh, and you can always fast forward through anything that you get bored about um, to get to the good stuff. It depends on each person what's good for you. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you at the chicken coop.